That's me talking to the colonel. Okay, that's me listening to the colonel. He's briefing me for another job. And don't think he hasn't plenty of jobs for me. Sometimes it's air scouting for his tanks and half-tracks. It's like being a sentinel. In fact, that's what they call the L-5, the sentinel. Then other times I do spotting for his artillery. You know, tell him a little to the right or a little to the left. The L-5 will practically float in mid-air while I look. I can do a lot of other things, too. Land and take off in a small space, carry messages and supplies right up to the front lines, and fly out wounded. I like my job. Of course, once in a while, I get shot at, and I expect that, when it's the Germans doing it. But when you guys, Air Force or Ground Force, I don't care which, when you shoot at me, that I don't like. So right now, I'm going to give you a lesson in recognition. Get to know the L-5 Sentinel, and save the U.S. some ammunition, and me some gray hairs. The L-5 is easy to spot from any angle. If you look at it head on, first thing you see is that it's a high-wing monoplane braced with struts. Then you notice that the wing has some dihedral. But the tailplane is straight, and the fixed landing gear sticks out like a pair of skinny legs only they're strong enough not to need any bracing. From a little bit below, you can make out the shape of the fuselage. It's like a wedge, except that the sides are curved. From here, you can see also how broad and straight the wing is, and that it's got rounded tips. And when the Sentinel is directly overhead, and this is for you guys watching me from the ground, this is what you look for. Wedge-shaped fuselage, straight-edged wing. Plenty broad and with rounded tips. Tail plane, almost a perfect rectangle. But from the side, what's easiest to spot is the fin and rudder. They're really big, like on a B-17. <laughs> well, practical. Then next, there's that blunt nose and fuselage bottom curving up to a point at the tail. And you can't miss that extra large greenhouse either. From up here, you see the nose is flat on top and blunt. Then, of course, the pipe stem landing gear, oversized fin and rudder, and rectangular tail plane. If you're coming in on my tail, well, there's nobody would mistake that tail plane, I hope. And from here is where you get the whole picture. Big fin and rudder, rectangular tail plane, high, broad wing with bracing struts and rounded tips. Flat top, blunt nose curved underside of fuselage, thin landing gear with no bracing, and the large greenhouse. Those are the details, but I know it takes too long to spot an airplane by picking out each feature, and you guys are in a hurry. So learn to recognize the ship as an entire airplane with one look, just the way you spot your girl when she's still two blocks up the street. Now I'll fly around, close and far away. Watch me, and learn that L-5 so well you'll know it any place, any time.
Got it down pat? Well, let's see. High wing, broad and long. Dihedral, rounded tips. Okay, you check them off for yourself. That's the L5 Sentinel. Oh, yeah, and uh, do me a personal favor. Remember me the next time you see me, will you? <laughs> <laughs>